Welcome back to Outdoor Guys. Today we're going to do a pretty interesting kind of bow hunting experiment. I'm going to take all my best buck rut hunting dates from the last eight years and uh, roll it into this video. I've kept track of them in my phone in my notepad. Um, I just kind of typed in the date, sometimes the temperature, wind direction, and you know what happened with that particular buck. I just wanted to share it with you guys. I also have a ton of trail cam footage that will you know show you some other dates that the bucks were you know on their feet in daylight these are my best buck rut hunting dates based on actually being in stand hunting i'm gonna pull my phone out and i'm gonna go tell you a little bit about each one maybe this can help you out in your hunting area i bow hunt in maryland so you know i know it's a little bit different in each area you hunt but all right so i'm gonna go back all the way to uh 2016 and that's that a point right there this was actually a shotgun buck to December 10th um, at 3:45, this uh, big eight-pointer came from the neighboring property. I just wanted to share him. He's not really a bow buck, like I said, he's a gun buck, but uh, he's definitely the biggest and oldest. So I just want to talk about you know that hunt just a little bit. Around 3:45, he came in from our left. He actually was blind in the one eye. Me and my brother were sitting actually on the ground. So. You know, I think that helped us out without him seeing us. But he just looked like a warrior. He looked, I think he lost that eye from fighting. Just an old, ancient buck. Uh, it was such an awesome hunt that we got to sit there and experience together. And we wound up harvesting him. Um, it was the last day of shotgun. I think it was like the first time we went out in the two weeks of firearm season and it was the last day kind of fourth quarter hail mary kind of buck i'll never forget him no uh beautiful eight point all right let's hop into the next one um we got november 8th 2017 at 345 northwest when um i rattled in an eight point buck i did not harvest that buck that was one of the only bucks that i have experience with on that property that i was able to rattle in with the antler so i thought you know that was definitely unique he definitely came right in after i rattled he was real alert he was looking to try to figure out what was you know what bucks were fighting and where the does were and uh, he had popped his head in and came right in okay now we got november 14th 2018 this was one of the biggest like six points i've ever seen you know hunting in, at all there's a creek crossing in front of me where this particular stand was keep in mind all these bucks were out of the same stand too he came down across the creek bottom at 5 p.m last light a northeast wind with him it was very new to bow hunting i wasn't able to get a shot on him he kind of stayed i think he was 30 35 yards and i just wasn't comfortable making the shot so i didn't take it but uh he was a beautiful big six point i actually once he went past me i tried to grunt him you know grunt him in and uh i was so close to him at that point it scared him and he had took off but uh beautiful buck hunt and experience on that one okay november 8th in the morning this was a new stand back in doe bedding different stand huge eight at uh 6 45 a.m in the morning northeast wind i seen him again couldn't get a shot because he went behind me on somebody else's property and there was a lot of stuff in the way too so i seen him again at 8 30 a.m and 10 a.m um and then i seen him for the third time checking bedding on the other side of the property close to where that first stand was that I seen all them other bucks at 3.30. Never did get a shot at that buck. Um, I got him on trail camera since. It was kind of cat and mouse thing. Never did catch up to him. November 8th, again, um, 2019, uh, this is in the evening. A big eight came from the ridge across from that first stand where I seen all them bucks from the right. I just remember looking up and seeing this dark brown, huge body, Nice rack, took his time. It seemed like forever for him to just take a couple steps, came down again, crossed the creek, but he stayed closer to cover. You know, it was real methodical in his movements. I could tell this was a mature buck. He came in because <laughs> there were some does to my left. He seen them and I think that's, you know, ultimately what made him come off of that other ridge. Very new in bow hunting again. Let him get to 20, took my shot, went right over his back. I was hoping to get another arrow in, get another shot at him, but he just, it just didn't happen. And I was praying I did, but um, I never did get a follow-up shot on him. Let's hop to uh, this year, 2023, or actually now it's last year, but November 6th, newer stand, kind of in between that bedding 
in that first stand where all them buck encounters were okay two mature bucks a six and an eight came at 4 30 p.m i'm gonna run through the story real quick just because i think it's interesting i thought i was gonna get a shot at that big eight but i never did get a shot at either one of them they both stayed about 40 yards and out and i'm not comfortable making that far of a shot back in the timber like that so the doe actually did everything textbook she came probably 10 yards in front of my stand um, if he would have followed her, I definitely would have got a shot at him, no doubt. But he didn't. Um, she fed down there. I'm surprised she didn't see me or smell me because I'm pretty sure my wind was blowing back that way. I guess she was low in the creek. I was, you know, not super high, but I was up in the stand. He kind of stayed behind her in the creek, you know, and just kind of skirted me the whole time. Um, and it was two different bucks. So I'm like, all right, one of them's going to slip up here. I'm going to get a shot at one of them. Nope, never got a shot at them. Uh, following day... I go to that new stand up on the Oak Flat. This was the second sit there. This one's unique, and I did a video on this specific buck. I, I actually did two of them, so I'll link them down in the video description below. I hunted the wrong temperature, the wrong wind, and I spooked deer on the way into this stand just because of the access is not the best, but it's an awesome spot. Heard a bunch of crunching, looked back to my right at about 3.34 p.m., 65, 70 degrees out, and this guy didn't care. I seen other bucks before him too. Um, that goes to show you. Uh, sometimes you gotta press the issue and, and break all the rules to get an opportunity, and that's what I did that time i wasn't able to uh i made a shoulder shot on this buck i wasn't able to uh harvest the buck i had him come up on trail camera a couple days later he's fine had a little limp but feel a little bit better that i didn't hurt him to the point where he wasn't functional but uh you know they're they're tough and um i only got like a couple inches of penetration on my arrow um i'll link that video down below though i'm not going to get into it too much here but that's pretty much it guys i just wanted to share my best rut hunting dates first week or two of november has you know been the best for me so december 10th that's kind of the second dairy rut for sure but bow hunting wise november 8th november 14th november 8th november 8th november 7th and november 6th so trail cameras you know they'll tell you otherwise kind of i got i'm gonna roll some of them in too so you guys can see you know i mean it's always cool seeing a mature buck in broad daylight whether it's on trail camera or you know in person but i'll roll that stuff in so you guys can look at the temperature and the date and stuff like that too but that's it for this one. Um, just wanted to share those encounters with you guys over the eight years of uh, hunting. Ring that notification bell so you get all my new content as soon as it drops. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Go ahead and drop a comment down below. Let me know what your best buck runt hunting dates are. Definitely smash that subscribe button down for me. Until the next one, you have officially been outdoors.